People who got caught having sex at work what happened? Worked at Wendy's when I was a teenager. Just me at the register, the manager and another girl in her early 20s at the drive through Another guy in his 20s was on the grill and an older woman at the sandwich station, who I chatted with often. It's almost closing time. The manager is in the office doing whatever it is they do. Woman at sandwiches starts doing dishes and the other two are outside taking a quick smoke break. So I start cleaning up the dining area and take the trash out to the dumpster. The dumpsters are enclosed around a fenced gate to keep pests and animals out. As I approached the dumpster, I heard someone whisper, shish shish, followed by a quiet, what? I am now aware these two people are not actually smoking and probably doing something my 16-year-old eyes don't want to see, especially since it's my co-workers. So I stand there for a moment figuring out what to do, as I'm tired and ready to go home. Then without a second thought, I heave the trash bag over the gate and yell out, throw the trash in dumpster for me when y'all are done. I walk back inside to finish cleaning up. The two love birds walk in about five minutes later and do whatever they can to avoid eye contact with me. As I'm heading to my truck, I check the dumpsters to see if they threw the bag in the bin. To my surprise, they actually did. I was caught by my boss's boss, going at it with my boss. He threw his binder down on the ground to get our attention. Then he left and we broke apart, then just finished the shift. I was so sure we were both going to get fired. I was a nervous wreck the whole day. In the end, he decided to not tell anyone and not to fire us. He just asked me if it was consensual, which it was, and lectured me on how inappropriate that was, obviously I agree. He also said he wished us a happy relationship lol. Scariest and most awkward day at work of my life. Never again. I see the supervisor sometimes and I know it's obviously something we'll both never forget. Not me, but two co-workers at a small family restaurant got caught having sex in the bathroom when the owner literally opened the door on them because they didn't lock it. The girl was bent over the sink and they were watching themselves in the mirror. He slammed the door shut, and when they came out a few minutes later, panicky and shame-faced, he yelled at them, if you're gonna do that, you clock out first. While the rest of us laughed our asses off. I worked retail loss prevention, catching other employees became pretty normal event. Here's the thing, most retailers put twice as many cameras in employee areas as they do customer areas. If it was between employees they would get a verbal warning sometimes a written, managers and employees would cause one to get transferred, usually the manager. Employees and a non-employee in a employee-only area was either a written or final warning given. I can't think of anything crazy except when I first caught someone other LPs were just meh. After a while it became a normal thing. I was a whitewater raft guide 10 years ago. We would party at the area where we stacked our rafts at night at our boathouse, we slept in tents nearby. One thing lead to another and my girlfriend at the time and I got it on on top of a stack of rafts under the stars quite drunk. The boathouse manager lived in a small apartment with an upstairs window directly adjacent to this stack of rafts. We would be introduced to our tours by him each day with fun little anecdotes. Like, this is James, best river guide west of the Mississippi. So the next day, after saying nothing to us, he is introducing us and goes, Okay, now your guide is going to be Chelsea the Screamer. With a pointed look at us. She looked like she saw a ghost, then laughed it off. No further repercussions beyond the call out and a bit of laughs. It was a laid back environment though. I was an engineer at a company. A couple were fired for having sex in his car in the parking lot. Our company was one of the biggest CCTV manufacturers in the world. I designed camera control systems. Our parking lot was also used to test product, and had one of the highest camera per square foot ratio of any parking lot, anywhere. Our cameras had amazing zoom capabilities. This just never occurred to these two brainiacs. Management insisted that we delete all footage. Circa 2002. We hired a new guy and as he was relocating from across country he asked for a job for his wife and we accommodated. They ran the customer facing aspect of our shop, which included a storefront that was only open a few hours a week.
Because there was a cash box in that room it was very secure. The owner's son had a reputation of raiding it whenever he needed a heroin fix so new doors, new locks, two-way mirrors, etc. Routinely we would call into the room to get things from them and the phone would go unanswered. They assured us they were up to nothing but we heard noises a few times so I played a hunch. I was IT and one day coming out of the server room passed them in the hall and she asked what I was doing in there and I fabricated a security system that no one bothered checking. I explained I was in charge of the tapes and updates, that due to robbery and theft, we had hidden camera in every room, including their office. I hadn't looked at it in months and was restoring the system to look at some stuff from the past weeks. Fast forward about 20 minutes, they are tearing the room apart looking for a camera. You can hear her sobbing through the door, shocked at what I, have on tape. They got a warning, I pointed into a vent as a heads up for the camera and warned it got the whole room. We eventually fired them both. I worked in the store operations department for a fairly large retailer in the Midwest for only about a year. The whole company was a mess and I was leaving due to workplace harassment after already trying to talk to this HR director to help me for months and months because my supervisor was verbally abusing me and not allowing me to clock in my overtime. Eventually news broke out that this particular HR director and his direct report, a recruiter were caught in his office after the director's wife called another HR person about it. It spread like wildfire. They were both fired and both were married so they lost their families too. I ended up moving to the HQ of another retailer as an assistant in the marketing department and saw the former director's resumes come through to my supervisor's email asking to chat about opportunities. I managed his emails, not an invasion of privacy law. Devastated that this person could once again be in my life and obviously offer zero support, I told my supervisor the story in its entirety and why he was ultimately the reason why I decided to work elsewhere. He wasn't hired. Sometimes I feel bad but what comes around, goes around. I was a projectionist at a local movie theater when I was 20, and walked into the hallway that connected the projection booths to the manager's office. I heard loud moaning and walked towards the stairs. Unfortunately the floors were unfinished wood, so they made a lot of noise. Moaning stopped and the manager's door slammed. I walked down the stairs and went on my break in the concession food prep area. Got fired for no reason two days later. They tried to make up some BS about me swearing in front of a customer that coincidentally was from corporate. Utter BS. Joke is on them though. When my uncle heard about this, he went into full-on lawyer mode and started digging. Turns out that no one from the corporate office was even on the West Coast that week, and he initiated a lawsuit for wrongful termination which we ended up winning and getting a decent amount of money from the company. Both the managers were fired, and now the theater is owned by AMC. I worked at a company that employed a lot of young professionals and effectively unlimited liquor at our events. They would go all out for our office holiday party in particular, always at a swanky place, and in previous years fed us really good food. The last year I was with them, I decided that I wanted to take better advantage of the food situation, and showed up on an empty stomach. The only food being served that year was beef tartar, and as nice as that is, it doesn't make a meal. So most of us proceeded to drink on empty stomachs and were inebriated pretty quickly. The rest of the night is a blur. One of our interns had a thing for me, and with our inhibitions removed, we had a heavy makeout session in front of everyone, who thankfully were mostly also in similar states of inebriation. I asked the intern back to my place, and we hopped in a cab together. The next day at the office, Monday, I had quite a few questions, teasing from coworkers, but neither of us suffered any repercussions, fortunately. That was years ago. I learned my lesson from that experience and have since been much better behaved. Obligatory not me but. In medical school two of the med students on surgery rotation together happened to be dating. They thought it would be a great idea to have sex in the hospital. In an operating room. What they didn't realize is that every OR is sterilized post-surgery to make things clean and safe for the next operation that happens, instead of right before the operation. What they also didn't realize is that every OR has a camera filming it live. 
Needless to say those two caused that OR to get a deep clean while the next surgery was postponed and were no longer students at our medical school before the end of that rotation. Rumor on the grapevine is that they broke up from the ordeal, found new medical schools, and went on to be full doctors getting residencies in competitive fields albeit in hospitals that nobody would want to be trained in if they had a choice. One of them even became a surgeon.